I'm pretty much convinced that the young truck driver, Javon McGee, McGee was lynched. I'm pretty much convinced that he was lynched. I think he drove for the company out of Jackson, Mississippi, the refrigerator transportation company. I've been following it, looking at it. I seen the the uh the surveillance cameras where he was in Walmart buying a rope. But looking at the circumstances surrounding his case. I'm convinced that he was lynched. The young man was pretty much fresh out of high, uh, truck driving school. And I'm sure he was excited about his career. And uh, he didn't seem like he had any reasons to be suicidal. He was scheduled to deliver a load at the Walmart in Henderson the next day. And I understand that he kind of, I guess, was at a, some type of... Uh, hole in the wall truck stop that was pretty close to some type of tavern that white people hang out at And I seen some stuff concerning the police department where it looked like they trying to be hush hush about what they actually know. I seen I seen something where they said uh oh Somebody went and got a copy of the police report, and it was, it was very redacted, like they uh, crossed out a lot of information on it, although it's public record, like they took a lot of a lot of stuff out. How is public record when you go and audit, edit some things out of the police report? It don't make no sense. Now, I see one YouTuber talking about the young lady. I think she drove for the same company that was murdered down there outside of New Orleans. I, I'm familiar with that, too. It's very, very unlikely that they were ever found out who did that to her. I think it was a case of somebody snuck into her truck, broke into her truck while she was uh out. She caught an Uber driver. From my understanding, she caught a, she uh she was parked at the uh one of the truck stops down there, not the big easy, but the other one. I think over there on the other side of New Orleans, and uh. Said an Uber driver dropped her off. She went into the truck stop to make a phone call or something. And when she she she, she came back and got in her truck, and that's when they found her three days later 
in a truck deceased with a whole bunch of stab wounds. And she was on the bed. So clearly, somebody was in her truck waiting on her. But I'm convinced that Javon McGee was lynched. And, and I'm convinced that the police department, the local cops, may be involved. Uh, we seem to want to ignore the issue of a uh, 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 lynching and people being killed and getting attacked simply because of this. We have a few cases in my state down around Jackson, Mississippi where some cops just was recently uh, 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 convicted for uh, lynching. We have an issue. We have a serious issue. And, and, and this stuff, people look at what's going on with politics. And, and express their dislike about what's going on. Got a woman of color or whatever she is, or black or not black, Indian, nevertheless, she's running for president against Donald Trump, who is white and a conservative. You think racial tensions won't flare? Especially dealing with a, a lady? Stand a chance for a black woman or woman of color to run for president of the United States against a conservative white man? There are still places and people in these United States that don't feel like that people of color are, are equal to our to their color. It's just the way it is. And when they get an opportunity and they get a chance, they're going to display it. It is what it is. Now, I believe his trucking company have more information and know pretty much more than what is being put out right now. Because for one thing, these new trucks nowadays, most of them, 90% of them, especially company trucks, are equipped with some type of surveillance system. Most of them have outward facing cameras. Lots of them have an outward facing and an inward facing camera. So it's a 85% chance that that truck have something to say concerning what happened to him. You can you can you can get a pretty good idea about what happened just by looking at the camera on his truck.
Yeah. Lots of people don't know that. A lot of people who not in the trucking business don't know. A lot of cops really don't know. They see this stuff in the dashboard up in the windshield. They don't know exactly what it is. Lots of people don't even pay no attention to it. So it's very likely that that truck caught something and it's very likely that he wasn't his truck, wherever he was parked at, waiting to unload at Walmart. It's very likely that he wasn't there by himself. It was some more company trucks, and they probably picked in. in, 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 in it. I'm sure them other company trucks picked up something. All these companies nowadays have surveillance on their camp on their trucks. Henderson, North Carolina. I've been over there a few times in my career. It's pretty wide open. But at night, certain spots, certain places, some can easily go down. It, and uh, I, I'm hearing things about he was pulled over by the cops. I don't know how true that is. But, but, I'm pretty much convinced that he was lynched. We have extremists in this country. We have extremists, political extremists. They don't like the idea. They don't like the fact. They don't like the fact that a lot of them uh, statues, Confederate monuments and all of them was taken down a few years ago under Obama administration. Um, if I'm right, yo. No, it went under Obama. Or was it? Yeah, it was under Obama. when they started taking them down. A lot of people around the country, Confederates, they don't like it. They don't like it. And I understand that that tavern or them or, or, or that tavern, that hangout, that club that he was very close to, they was extreme Confederates. People fly them flags and then when they question about them, they would lie. Well, it's just how we just celebrate our heritage. We just they use them them Confederate flags to send messages. When it's convenient for them, they'll say, it just, we just use this confet to uh, celebrate our heritage. And then when it's convenient for them, they'll use it, they'll it's it's a symbol. To acknowledge who they are, what they social associate with. For some, it is just something to commemorate and remember their heritage. But for some, it's a symbol. They ain't gonna come right out and say and wear no sign out of date no signs and stuff to say, yeah, I'm KKK. They ain't gonna do that. <laughs> who, who gonna do that? They ain't gonna wear no suits. Not out in public Them uh, with them hoods. They ain't gonna wear them to let the people the people know what they, what they are, who they are. But they still exist. And they and, and they are are, 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 are are building even stronger.
it's still very hairy in the south. But uh, I'm convinced that he was lynched. And I'm convinced that that truck can shed some light until what happened. Even even the new truck have hood mounted mirrors on both sides of the hood. If you got a forward facing camera in the windshield, even if some if even if someone come up from behind the truck, that camera still can reflect in that mirror, can see what in that mirror and take and give you an idea of what happened. So, uh, yeah, I hope they get answers. I hope he get justice. I hope the young lady down in New Orleans that was, uh, uh, that was deleted, unalive down in New Orleans a few years ago, I hope she still get justice. So, we yeah, it's a, it's a, it's we have a problem. We have a problem. They are targeting. They are looking for weak uh, standalones or whatnot. This stuff rears head. And, and, and uh, I don't understand why we not really allowed to pretty much have anything in our possession for self-defense. It's illegal to have a, a knife with a blade over three inches long in our possession. Somebody come in your truck while you somewhere apart, thank God I never had it in all my years of driving. I never had it, but I heard stories. People up on the East Coast, everywhere, people coming in their trucks while they sleep, getting attacked. You don't have hardly have nothing to defend yourself with. On the operators, and lots of company drivers carry them, but they are, 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 are pretty much illegal. But, yeah, uh, I believe he was lynched.